Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mark's Garage on West Coast Supercars and Classics. Uh, I like to show a little bit of the work I do sometimes. Uh, this I thought you m might find interesting. This is our 05 Mazda RX-8 and it's our venerable daily driver that we had for a lot of years. Right now it's a little bit orphaned because we don't really need it and I just can't decide what to do with it at the moment so I'm hanging on to it. Um, what the issue is that we have to deal with is a broken clutch pedal bracket, which is a pretty common problem on these cars. And in this case, it's resulted in the thing not wanting to go into gear. I had to uh, run down a few checks to find out what the problem was because I wasn't sure. Didn't have any leaks in the uh, clutch system. Clutch level, clutch fluid level was fine. I put in a new... Uh, master clutch cylinder last year, which is a royal pain to do, but I uh, wanted to check the slave cylinder, which is on top of the transmission. No leaks there, and uh, the fork is moving into the clutch a little bit, but just not far enough. So the problem is this clutch pedal in here. Let's see if you can see it. Here, let's see. Oh, okay. It's moved too close to the brake pedal and it's and it's kind of wobbly and the problem is there's apparently a weld there's a couple of welds right by the bolts which hold the assembly on which break sometimes today I'm gonna pull this thing out and then my neighbor Jeff over there across the, across the way is a welding fanatic so I approached him to find out if he'd be interested in trying to uh, fool around with this thing and fix the bracket, get it working again so we could uh, reinstall it. So that's what our job is today. So I'm going to get going on that. Um, so the brake is right where I'm shining the light underneath that piston there. Can you see the metal? Oh man, that's a weak spot. That spot weld there broke. Don't know if we can see it uh, with this camera here. Can you see that that spot weld is moving? She's a done, she's a done. She's a no good. Yeah, she's a no good. She has to come off. So we go to fix this one. Yeah, we have it for you for 5 p.m. tomorrow, sir. You come back and we fix it for you. Turns out it's a 12 mil bolt on this thing. And I'm going to, I think I have a 12 mil deep socket, so I'm going to go see if I can find that and, and put it on with the ratchet. It'll, it could speed things up a little bit. I'm going to try that. Otherwise, I got this guy, which has a ratchet on it anyway, so could work well. That was kind of interesting because as soon as I got my uh, ratchet on it, it's like pretty loose. It had a new pedal put on. Oh, I think four years ago, so this is easy peasy to get off. First one's out. The second one is pretty tight because of the space in there, so I've just dug up my articulated system here. This is actually something I bought for the RX-8 originally to remove the spark plugs because you have to go in uh, sort of around the driver's side front tire you usually take it off and there's a little flap and then you stick your tool in there and you have to get it way in there and you need to have an articulated one like this. So I'm going to try that, see how that works. Should be able to get in there. I undid that little clip right there. That comes off. Plus there's another one over here that had to come off. Just uh, press on that. Pretty simple. Those open up. That's pretty simple. Take those off and then she's uh, pretty much ready to come out. Just got to coax it out without uh, bending the bracket there. All right, so after about 10 minutes of wrestling with that, I got a clutch pedal assembly out of my RX-8. So. Pretty straightforward operation. Uh, let's have a look at the broken weld. Oh my God, yeah, this is a mess. You can see the piece that came out here. Let's go look at that. 
Yeah. He's a stress fracture. Holy crap. -o. Anyway. So that's uh, that's the culprit. Definitely that's the reason why it's not working. And so we're going to have to fix this bit here. <clears throat> All right, well, here we are a few hours later, and I am lucky because I was able to pick up, well, actually, my dear wife was able to pick up on her way back from work from uh, Mazda Victoria the whole new pedal assembly OEM from the factory. And uh, oh, thanks also to Pacific Mazda for uh, giving us a good deal on this pedal. It was very reasonable. And certainly, uh, after I spoke with my neighbor Jeff, uh, we decided I should check the pricing because it would be a fair amount of work to do the welding even though a lot of people have done it. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive to get the new pedal assembly and I guess it'll break in <laughs> another four years so I'll have to get another one. Or we could maybe take it out and reinforce it sometime so we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll rebuild the other one and use it as a spare, something like that. There they are. So if I'm not mistaken, we should have all the parts we need here, even though we could use some of the, uh, the old parts, like the switch here that uh, cuts the ignition out when the pedal is up. And uh, what else we got? I think that's the only sense, the only uh, switch. And then there's the plunger here. It's kind of interesting because the uh, cotter pin or the E-clip was missing off this, so I'm hoping this new one has that part, so I don't have to go looking for an E-clip, because I don't have a kit. Okay. Well, let's see what we got here. Yep. Got a new plunger. I gotta make sure, that's the adjustment that I'm gonna have to make. Once this is installed, of course, this is the plunger, so when you, when you push the clutch pedal, the plunger goes into your clutch master and uh, you can adjust the length of the stroke here so that's your clutch engagement point so you have to do a bit of adjustment on it. The clutch is fairly new so hopefully that'll be extremely easy and straightforward. Okay. Let's see what we got. The first thing we're going to do is put these parts in. Oh, I see, okay. That's an interesting thing. So this is a this is a real simple operation. First of all, let's pull that. There we go. That's going to Snug in like so. That's in position. That switch is in position. What else have we got here? On this side of it. Oh, I see. Right. Boom. Come sa. So, these are ready to go back into the wiring harness. Now if we go to the driver's view here, so we're on the previous, uh, the previous pedal, here on the previous pedal, I'll show you the broken part, I don't know if you can see that, there's the spot weld in question, that's the defective spot weld, can you see that? There was the spot weld and there it sheared off because you still had a uh, bolt on it so um, everything was kind of stressing this thin metal here and that's why it broke. And there's a little gizmo. Another little gizmo here. There's a little clip here and this is going to hold this plunger uh, in position so that when you install the pedal it's going to line up properly with the master cylinder so I got to make sure that's in place as well. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to clip it back. There we go. And you can see we put that in position. Okay, can you see that now? So that's going to hold it in position. There we go. All ready to go. Okay, now we got to clip these things back on. I did it right. Okay, one. And get this. And put this one on. That's done, that's clipped, that's in. That works good. So far, so good. There's my light. Last but not least, I'm gonna put that dead pedal back. Okay. And the dead pedal will be back. We just need to tighten those up. That's all. All right. All right. That's the dead pedal in place. And now it's time to get it fired up and see what happens. Okie doke. Well, now the moment of truth. Let's see how the old RX-8 does with the new clutch pedal bracket. It feels so different, so much better. Yep, you can hear the throw up bearing. And it should go into gear nicely. There's reverse. Perfect. Just gonna go move the car actually today anyway. I did actually end up take, taking the car out for a drive, but I wanted to show you guys. I don't take the camera with me everywhere I go. No problemo. Feels as good as new. I might have to adjust the uh, just the clutch uptake a little bit, the uptake point. It's a little bit far up for me. I like it to engage a little bit sooner, but it's pretty good. I can live with it. So there you go. Done. RX-8 clutch pedal bracket, done. You saw it right here on Mark's Garage on West Coast Supercars and Classics. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. That's why I do these videos, and I appreciate when other people make videos of the uh, various things that they're doing. We learn a lot from each other. So thanks for all the guys who've shared your information. And once again, thank you for watching. Take care.